consider the following function. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the given function? Well, to figure out this question, we're going to need to analyze all of our answer choices and see which relationship matches this equation. Let's start with answer choice D. Answer choice D says y is equivalent to the value of x minus the value of x plus 1. Let's write this out. y is equal to the value of x minus the value of x plus 1. Here, if it exists in math, there's always one of them. So this is the same thing as a negative 1 outside of the parentheses, which we will need to distribute to both numbers inside the parentheses. We'll have y is equal to x. Negative 1 times x will give us a negative x, and negative 1 times a positive 1 will give us a negative 1. Now we can simplify, combine our like terms, and get y is equal to x minus x is 0. So we're left with negative 1 y equals negative 1 does not match our equation up here, so that means answer choice D is incorrect. For answer choice B, what we have to do is identify the fact that this is not a linear function. It is a function that is in the shape of a V, when a linear function is a straight line going into infinity in both directions. The equation given to us, we know is a linear function because we have y and x or just any two variables, it doesn't have to be y and x, but our uh, independent variable is only to the power of 1. If we had an equation with our independent variable to the power of 2, then we would have a u-shaped graph, and that would no longer be a linear function. So having x to the first power tells us that this is linear, and tells us that answer choice b is incorrect. Now for answer choice A and C, these are both tables of values that we can plug into our equation and solve to see if there are true statements. So let's start by plugging in 0 and negative 1. Of negative 1 for y is equal to 0 plus 1. When we solve that, we'll have negative 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 is just 1. 1 is not equal to negative 1, so A is incorrect and C is our correct answer by process of elimination, but I'll still show you why these table values match our original function. If we were to plug in these values, let's start with 1 and 0, we would have 0 is equal to uh, negative 1 plus 1. When we distribute that negative into the parentheses, negative 1 plus 1 will give us 0, so that will match. Then on to our next set of values, we'll have uh, negative 9 is equal to negative 10 plus 1. When we add negative 10 to 1, we will get negative 9. And this will continue for the rest of the values of the table, making answer choice C our correct answer.